Hello and good evening. My name is Gita and I will be presenting something a little bit different tonight. I have three different decks I'm going to be working with and then I'm going to be using the Romance Angels for Clarifier. So this right here is deck one and this has the Heart Chakra. This is deck two. It has the throat chakra and this is deck three and this has the crown chakra. Before I get started I would like to say that when I do reach a thousand subscribers I'm going to start doing live streams where I'll be giving out free mini readings live like with you so you will be communicating with me through the chat and asking me your questions and I will be doing readings here and then giving you my interpretations. If that's something that you would really like to be interested, please thumbs up this video, subscribe and hit the bell notification. And so you can be alerted whenever I do future uploads and live streams. If you have any requests, please leave it in the comments below. Also, if it resonates with you, if it doesn't, and I, I would like to know either way, if there's anything that you'd like for me to do anything differently, just let me know. I really appreciate constructive criticism. Please know that this is a general reading and to take what resonates and leave what doesn't because this is for multiple people. So sometimes there's going to be little bits that it's not going to be meant for everyone. So just please try to keep that in mind. So the topic and the question that I am asking tonight is how does my love interest feel about me right now? Okay, how does my love interest feel about me right now? So, we're, this is deck one, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to take these away. Alright, and I love these little cards. I'm going to be getting more mini cards, I think. For some reason, I don't know. These There's certain decks that I just really mesh well with, and this is one of them. They just really communicate with me really well. And these are the um, Nicoletta... I can't even pronounce it. Sicholi Tarot deck? I think that the images on it are just beautiful. Just to show, there's just all these beautiful images on it. And they just really speak to me. So how does my love interest feel about me right now? Which would be you. So how does deck one's love interest feel about them right now?
that's all I'm getting so far. So let's start off with this and see what we see. So the first card that I get is the moon. It's hard to tell which way this one goes because it's so mirrored. Isn't it beautiful? Six of Pentacles. We have Judgment. We have the Five of Cups. Ooh. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the World. And we have Strength. Let's see if we can make sure all these fit in here. What I really like about this mini decks is you can really lay them out nicely to where they can be seen <clears throat> pretty clearly, I think. I don't post these in 4K. If you would be interested in these being posted in 4K so you can see the decks better, let me know. But if you don't mind, I usually just put it in HD, which I believe is 720. My camera does record in 4K. Okay, so how does your love interest feel about you right now? I really feel like well, they're definitely hiding something from you. have to rearrange these to kind of feel like I'm making a timeline. I almost feel like there's a timeline. <laughs> Sorry about that. I seem to be having technical difficulties. Apparently my camera decides to turn on and off Actually, it records and it stops and it takes pictures on its own while I'm doing readings. So, if you ever see things break up while I'm doing these videos, that's why. Alright, back to where we're going. Okay. I feel like your loved one has feel like they've, they've suffered a loss. But it's like, how do they feel about you? I feel like they've lost something they've lost something from you they feel like they like they've lost I really actually I feel like they've lost some a bit of trust with you now that I think about it like and it's not that they don't totally trust you but it's like there's something happened where I really feel like that, that it's caused them to reassess what they're thinking about you, their thoughts about you. I haven't figured out where that goes yet. They definitely love you and they want to give you the world. And they see you as a source of strength. But something has happened to cause them to judge you. a gift they do want to give you something I think we need some clarifiers okay And the 
magician. I see you as the Queen of Pentacles. Can you see that? Queen of Pentacles. I see you as strong. And I see you as the magician, where you're just manifesting things. And what I'm getting from this curse, now I have multiple fives. Your major arcana, there's another five. I don't know, maybe I should realign things up. so I can make more sense of them. Love. But it's like new love. Jarkana. So you can see a little bit better. Alright, so what's happening? see something now. For some of you, not all in the same. So part for some people, what I said before about them losing trust in you applies, but now I'm seeing a different group. There's a group to where you lost something with them. You lost something and they 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 want to console you. But you're afraid. And it may have been monetarily. And the heart could have been involved. Let me see. Some of you are having a judgment on you and they want to help you through it.
they're hiding their love for you. That's what they're hiding. Some of them are hiding that they love you. Why? I know this looks kind of funky, but it's just I'm organizing it like this so I can read it better, so I can, it helps me organize it in my mind. It's like I'm making a storyboard. For the other group I was talking about before, they feel like that you betrayed them. And so that's why they've lost that trust. So they have a judgment over you. give you the truth. So this isn't go there yet. And I think they're going to tell you how they feel about that. I'm going to put this back in. Take this bottle off. Let's tell you soon the truth about a situation
tell you soon. Quick communication. these people you might have betrayed but then there's a, a similar there's another group who would have been betrayed or they have been if there's a third party situation where they've been betrayed I don't see that person but maybe majority of you. There's a small group who have been betrayed that feel like they have been betrayed by you and they're judging you for it. And they and the, there's the group that that have been betrayed I feel like they've just been injustice. They feel defeated. And because of it, they feel detached from from the situation or from the world or from others. Oh, this is so confusing me. Yeah, detached from the world. Here we go. That's where that goes. But I think it might be some of you. There is a third party situation, and they're trying. They're might even be detached from you a bit. But they really want to manifest something. I really feel like they still want to manifest something with you. I don't feel like they've given up. I don't know. I don't see what you've done to... I'm not feeling what you've done to betray them. Or who did what to betray. I'm just not feeling it. I mean... In the third party, they could have been cheated on, or and actually, I think they could have been stolen from money wise.
so, but whatever is going on here, they're going to actually be recovering from it soon. I really feel like they're going to get over it. And I really feel like, possibly, <clears throat> that if it's you, whoever betrayed them, they're going to <clears throat> be forgiving and giving up and going on. Excuse me. <clears throat> I got like a communication throat. Like, they're having a hard time telling you. I don't feel like that they think that you intentionally tried to hurt them. Maybe you did not think that that, that it would bother them what, what, the, what you did so much, but it really has caused some trust issues and they it really do feel betrayed. But while they do feel like mourn the loss of what happened, there are still they still feel like there is hope. There's still hope. So they haven't given up hope. And this person is very strong. I feel like he's strong in mind. clarifying that it was a theft a betrayal of, of theft so they were stolen from some of you I feel like that they were stolen from and this is causing mon monetary issues and making it so they cannot come forward and tell you the truth about that maybe they're embarrassed about the situation Some of it may not that you may have been stolen from and they have this is a different group this is a more people they feel like you were stolen from and the one I was telling you for that something happened to you and that and that you want to that you they want to comfort you and they're trying to help you and there's a legal situation and but they really want to fight this person could actually be a lawyer who is in love with you and is, hide, is hiding that they love you because they, of course, can't, they can't tell, I mean, they're working with you, they can't tell you that they love you. That would be, that would be unethical. But he really wants to work to help you. The one, okay, there's a group, there's a group of you who did something to betray your your love interest and they're trying to get over it and it was a monetary issue but they're, they're working to get over it and that then they will get past that okay and then there's a group of you who have been stolen from and could be in a legal situation to where you're trying to fight to either to get that money back and the person who's there's a person your person is the person who's trying to help you they're trying to help you get that money back but in the process of trying to help you they fell in love with you and they've hidden that from you I really feel like the majority of some situation like that that you were stolen from. You're like the damsel in distress. <laughs> Let's see if I get anything else. That makes so much sense. You fell in love with the damsel. It's the top of the Sorry, it's, I 
can't help it. I find this so adorable. It's just like this classic. It's just like something you see out of a movie or something. Or you meet this man and he's your lawyer and, and he falls in love with you. But when this is over, when this situation is over, there's going to be a rebirth. And so it's going to be, it's going to end soon. I really feel like it's going to end soon because they're going to be able to tell you that they love you soon. So this is all going to be over soon. And then when that happens, they're going to tell you they love you and they are going to just want to sweep you off your feet and everything is going to be like awesome. I'm so excited for that group. I'm super excited. I think it's only a very small handful of people who actually betrayed their loved one. I think that a large majority of you <clears throat> are the ones who are having difficulty with a situation and they're helping you with a situation and they want to give you their love, but they can't because they it's not unethical at the moment. <clears throat> But soon they won't. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the Romance Angels. Let me see what we can do. Ooh, they want to get engaged. wanted to count. Let's try again. So I really feel like your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So definitely either they're going to, when this is over, they are going to want to let, like ascend to a higher level of commitment. Either, you know, confess. I really feel like they want to confess their love to you and get into a, and get into a romantic situation with you. <clears throat> also, you could be like going through a divorce and they're helping you through that, but of course they can't tell you that they've fallen in love with you while they've been helping you get divorced. I really feel strongly that this person is a lawyer. Let's see. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So as soon as this is over, this is going to really be mended. And there, once the money issues are over and the legal issues is over and the theft and all that has happened, they're going to confess what they feel about you and that is going, that's how it's going to go. So... If you like this reading, please let me know. Please give it my video a thumbs up so I know if I'm doing something right or not. Um, the more thumbs up I get, the more likely I'm going to keep doing these kinds of readings. Leave me in a comment below to let me know if it resonated with you or not. And also subscribe if you would like to get more videos. And I will be doing live readings when I get 1,000 subscribers. So if you help subscribe, then I'll be doing live readings. And turn on the bell notifications so you can get those notifications when I go live. Alright. Number two. I 
if you picked number two, this is the throat chakra. This is going to be a long video I'm feeling already. And the question is, how does my love interest feel about me right now? So how does your love interest feel about you right now? so nice. They see you as just abundance. And your person is a an ethical, he's a logical thinker. He's witty and sharp-minded and very like about you and you just make him feel so happy when he's around you he just feels like he can do anything finances family love he just feels like through you and this person I feel like is probably pretty young ready to manifest this with you. So far, I don't see anything negative happening here. I feel like he's worried that you're going to reject his message of love. He's very passionate. And I feel like maybe he feels like there's competition. Like you have more than one person interested in you. Very passionate person. I think he's kind of jealous. He's 
worried about that person being able to take you and stop you from being with him. He really has the other person. Mmm. Okay. So your person has see, definitely sees. Here's this was here actually. This. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, this person who who would be like a logical thinker, he's like a mathematician, and but and like he'd be like really logical too. Like he could be good at math, and he would be like an air. He, he could be like an air sign. I see air sign, um, and I see fire going here. But it could be um, it could be a fire sign, but. It could also just be, um, it really could just be passionate energy. But this other person, he's not really sure. And I think that you're checking on this other person because you're wondering about this, the other person that you're interested in as well. And, but they're more fickle and they're kind of actually bored and they have so many choices that they don't know what to choose. And but this other person the original person you started to ask about he's really he's really he's really into you and he's worried about this other person and even if he doesn't know about them I think that they can sense they can sense that there's something else going on definitely would be better off with the more logical person. The other person I feel like is going to be like more flighty. He's just more of like a player. I feel like that kind of thing. And he's actually moving, he's going to be moving away from you soon because he's getting tired of this and It's really just, I, I, I'm almost like the person, I really feel like this other person that is possible, like another possible suitor, he really is really more into himself and his career, and you're just kind of this thing that he is, that he's just been kind of interested in, and just wanted to see, feel it out, and see what was going on with that, but in the end, he's not going to, he's going to move away from you and everything. So I think that you're a lot better off with the logical person and the, because you, it looks like, is like a younger person too that maybe this king of wands I really feel like an older person but I mean if you you could really find balance with this person and you could easily integrate your lives together and and he just he wants to offer you everything I think he has a lot more to offer you also monetarily he, he's just like a better match and all together and then this would definitely just be like a victory he would feel victorious. You would feel victorious. It, it, this would just be a whole awesome thing. I don't know if you can see all these cards. I'm, I don't know. It's like, it seems like my key. 
can't remove this by itself. Might be possessed. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pause some romance angels. <clears throat> this has definitely turned out to be interesting. Interesting reading. Let's focus on the, the guy you really should be with. Cards are not wanting to cooperate. Come on, communicate cards. Like you, you might have a little bit of control issues yourself, or he feels like you do have some control issues, and that you just want things to be a certain way. And allow the situation to unfold naturally. really focusing on his finances and career. Everybody seems so very finances and career lately. Like this is holiday season. This is the time of this video, but I feel like you're having unrequited love. I think that card definitely goes towards the other person. I think that he wants to tell you that I almost feel like you might have even confided in this person and told him about your situation with the other person. <sighs> Alright, that's it. That's all I'm getting. If this resonated with you, please let me know. Please give me a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and it helps me out. It helps out this video. It helps actually it get recommended recommended to other people so they can watch it too and help them get their message possibly as well. And subscribe if you would like to have free readings and join me in live streams. Alright. Now for deck which is the angel tarot cards deck three with a crown chakra and let's see the question is how does my love interest feel about me right now let's see how your love interest feels about you and I lost my table <laughs> Oh, 
happen sometimes. Let's see. I feel like your person is feeling wounded and like their heart is broken, but they're hiding it from you. I'm thinking, hang on a second, I'm trying to see anything else I feel. I really feel like I don't really feel like you're the one who broke their heart I feel like that their heart has been broken by someone else and they're hiding it from you The outcome is coming quickly. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. Okay. This is a uh, this is a new relationship. A new passionate relationship. But they've been hurt in the past. See. I feel like you're a very thrifty person. Maybe a little 
bit too frivolous. But I definitely feel like I definitely feel like the, the they're hiding that they had their heart broken recently. And I don't really feel like I think that since it hasn't come up, I don't really feel like they want to talk about that. They just want to get over it. They're just done. They're done with the situation. So I would advise just leave it alone. Honestly. Honestly. Because bring it up. It's just going to slow everything down. And make it harder for you. They're really, they're really happy. This is a very... I think I really feel like this is a very happy, optimistic kind of person. And so they really just want to move forward. some good news coming. So don't give up in this situation. Protect what you created. Have courage and believe in yourself. I feel like I'm putting it together because they go together. And You've come into your own and new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. So whatever you're doing, you're doing right. That's for sure. friends. So far this deck seems like it's giving me friends, so there's these cards. I can't be... And these three don't have friends yet, so I think that we need at least three more cards. Let's start with a four of earth. Seems like a friend thing. These cards need friends. So I really feel like that you're giving, that you should be giving to, or your person is feeling like giving to you. Someone is less fortunate and significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. So, okay. I don't feel like those really go together, but that's what I got. Maybe if you know, leave it in the comments below if you understand this part of this, because it's not, I'm not getting it. Okay, let's see. I think that with the situation, you're being too cautious. It's not even about, I don't even think it's about money. I think it's actually more about emotions, even though it's at birth. Let me look at this card. Oh, my cards are flopping off there. Maybe you could take a look at the card too, see if you see anything yourself. See if you're not getting a glare going on there. I really feel like like 
you have your walls up. That's what it is. It, you have like your walls up and this card is trying to tell you to bring down your walls because it yeah, if you could bring down your walls, you you would have this. Behind the walls, you would see. If you could bring down the walls, you'd see there's there's like a, a garden and a beautiful home and everything. You know, all these things that could be. That you're going to realize that. When you have the revelation, you're going to want to bring down those walls. but like a happy anxious Moving forward, because this is like your dream. You have to take the leap of faith, follow your dreams. You're going to get unexpected opportunities. I want to cry. I want to cry. This relation, this situation, your your person really feels like that you you're like a solid foundation for them, and that to, I mean together you would you would definitely be like a, a really great team. Contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, a successful completion of a project. Is this is like a dream come true for you. Yeah, I'm freaking crying. This overwhelming emotion I'm getting from this reading. Alright, that's all I'm going to pull out of that. I'm going to do the Romance Angels. (laughs) 
don't feel bad for me. I get I just I'm really super empathic, so Loaded up and jumped to the top of the card, top of the deck. Let me read this. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So. They think of you as they see you as a new love. They feel they feel you as a new love. So that means that they love you. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive things, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So that is what I feel like that the cards are trying to tell you. They're trying to tell you to stay optimistic and not to give up. And be positive. And that if you have faith that things will get if you have faith in everything you're in positive thinking it's gonna turn out it's gonna work out like everything that you want in in your life in, in your love life because I mean a lot of times I mean let's face it if the love life is going great I mean, like anything else is <clears throat> anything else is possible. So I'm getting that somebody is reading this, reading about me, too. So you who is reading this, reading about me, now you know how I feel about you, I guess, and what our potential is. But it's not just about me. It's about you guys, too. But I do have somebody who's going over my video and pick this deck for me. Is there anything else they want to say or is that it? I kind of feel like there should be one more. I don't usually have like a number that I'm working on or anything, but... So this person is like your soulmate. Not like a soulmate. I really think it's twin flame. But this card comes up for twin flames. So, your prayers, affirmations, and, visual and visualizations help bring you together. So, that's what you need to do if you want to be brought together. 
you know. So this is very passionate. This is very awesome reading. Um, if you enjoyed your reading, please let me know. Please give me a thumbs up if you want. Subscribe. I really appreciate it. Hit the bell notifications so you can get updated whenever I, you, I have any more videos or if I go live. And I appreciate every one of you. And thank you very much. And have a good night.